Hello, welcome back. Let's see. Last week was really very good. Uh, so I did one episode where it was just a full time lapse of me doing the jump coat strawberries. And I do think I like having like at the end one full video where it's like the entire combination of everything in one video. I mean, these are nice because you get to see how much work actually it takes <laughs> to paint. But I think it's also nice to have like one whole video, like bam, that's that's how I did it. So I think the last thing on this painting is gonna be finishing this face and maybe adding a little more detail to that one. But I feel like this one's like pretty much almost done. And then that's it. So this could be done like today. So it's pretty pretty interesting. I am feeling very overwhelming, but overwhelmed with everything going on in the world. But one thing. So here's the whole piece. We're gonna go in, baby. We're gonna go in. I'm gonna show you all of that texture, all of that detail. I love this painting so much. It really, really came together. And I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy I put that pomegranate in there. It would look nowhere near as nice or as good. It would always feel like it was missing something. So, really, really happy. Guys, I finished it. I thought I had way more to do, but I actually like laid down a really good base layer, so I really didn't have much to do, which is awesome. Look, I even signed it in gold. Normally, I like to sign my paintings on the right, like I don't know, there's just, but with the circles and everything, I just felt like the gold. I needed a little balance of gold on that side, and that's what I did. So it is signed. Done. I'm so excited. I'm going to do a close up of it for you guys. Um, and then I'm going to take a, one of my other canvases here and I'm going to add some lovely, like my leftover paint. I'm just going to paint on it and get that like base layer going. And then I'm going to pull out a big Renekton and the eye piece so you guys can see what it looks like and see how much work I have left on it. And yeah, we're getting close here. We're getting very close. I actually just went through last night and drew out and sketched out some of the, the big paintings that I want to do and that have been on my mind that I'm very excited to do. So that's it's always a good thing. Um, yeah. So much to do this year. I'm so proud of myself. This is cool. This is really cool. Yes. Okay. Time lapse of me putting my leftover paint on. Okay, yeah.
I used all of my leftover paint for the most part. Um, it looks way worse, but it's like really thinned down and and uh, dry. My hands are covered in paint, by the way. So I'm trying really hard not to touch. Oh no, I got paint on me. I know this works when I take it off the, the glass here. So anyway. So this is next up on my list of paintings to finish. I started this when I first started painting. And let me tell you, like, this took me like a week. <laughs> like I spent so much time on like little aspects and looking back I'm like, I actually did a really good job for where I was in my oil painting um, skill level. But I think it's because I took so much time to like do like one little part. So there's that. I'm finishing up my outro from yesterday because in the middle of me talking about how this painting is the next one I'm going to be working on, I got a phone call from my husband saying that my son was up and I had to go watch him. So <laughs> these things do happen. And not that he couldn't watch him, he did go get him for me because my hands were covered in paint, but we had a deal, his friends were over, and I was just trying to get some work done during my son's nap time. So yes, my husband does help him. Or he does his share, I should say. Uh, my cat is sleeping on the floor in the sun, he's all happy. Yeah, this is the painting that I'm working on. Again, I think the original, yeah, I, I did this, My I started it my first year in art school. Or I think it was my second. I knew nothing about these characters, I knew nothing about copyrights, I knew nothing about um, anything like that. Like, they didn't teach you anything like that. So. This is going to a family member. It is not going to be for sale. It never will there be prints. Never will there be an NFT. Never, never, never. So I'm just painting this for my brother-in-law because he asked me to paint it for him. And it's been sitting and sitting and sitting. I originally I just did her, the background. You know, I did this part. I think I did this part and that was like one year and then I went back and I did a lot of work on it like another year I did these and like I feel like when I point out the parts that I did later on you can tell the difference so this 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 arm uh, that piece all of that part back there that's all separate that was like another session and the teeth and everything. So, actually, I'm pretty impressed with how I did the teeth and the uh, the tongue area. It's cool. So, again, this is what I'm gonna be working on next. Don't come at me and tell me that I'm stealing other people's art. I know I didn't mean to, but it's something that I need to finish to give it to my brother-in-law to finally get it out of my house. <laughs> and you guys can just watch me paint it. It's supposed to be fun. It's not for sale. I'm repeating this over and over so people really get it. Like, I'm not trying to make money off of this. So, I think I'm gonna ask him to pay the shipping because now they moved and it's a big painting to ship. Um, trying to think of anything else. I did work on the drawings that I'm going to use for these other paintings that I have ideas for. Those will be up for sale. This one, no. This is for a family member. So, just letting, putting that out there. Family. <laughs> but anyway, have a wonderful creative day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.